It's been a while since I've flown a US jet, and the one I've been working on for a while now is the P-80. If you ask why the hell do I fly P-80, I have the F-80 fully upgraded, I have the F-9Fs fully upgraded, and I quite don't want to focus on Sabres yet, so I kind of dropped down to the P-80. And this is a plane that most of the, if you're doing the US tree, this is the first jet you basically unlock, and a lot of guys work with this. And there's a lot of negative stigma attached to this aircraft, and rightfully so. It's a little underpowered, and of course this is a first gen jet, so you can't expect anything great. With the current matchmaker game, I'm not quite... The only reason I feel bad about flying this thing is due to the matchmaker. You can see those two, uh, you know, poor German props up there. This thing almost exclusively sees German prop planes. Yeah, that's all I see in this thing, is German props, so... You know, but of course the Germans can handle these things with no problem, but I just like something a little more historical matchmaking, I don't know, maybe 262s, uh, early meteors. I'd rather fight that in my PAD, but I'll try to walk through some of the tips and how I fly this thing. And it, like I said, a lot of people fly this thing because it's the first jet they get, and I still basically use my, see my do little funky things with it. I use kind of the same handbook of what I would do in a Panther or in the F-80 where I want to keep a middle altitude of seven to 10,000 feet. And like I said, this plane in a straight line isn't very fast. Once you start diving away, that's when she picks up her speed and you won't be caught by most prop planes. So you just need to keep that altitude in reserve for when you need it. Never turn fight with this thing. It's actually slower than most props. There's the HO229 right there. So let's see if I can show you what I'm talking about. So I'm up here at, you know, it's 8,000 feet. I'm gonna dive down this nice kind of gentle angle and you're going to hit it probably about 450 500 miles an hour and that's a good attack speed so we're going to come in and i'm probably not going to get my nose i might get a shot here but i'm going pretty fast so yeah he turned underneath me i'm not going to try to roll under or stamp my wings off anything stupid like that i'm just going to zoom climb do a simple little rollover And we're going to come straight back down on top of this guy. And unfortunately, we couldn't save that other P-80, but shouldn't be trading with a 229 anyway. So there we go. We're going to lay it down on this guy. I'm using stealth ammo because I find that works the best right now with the current patch. All right, he's on fire. That, that fire will not go on the 229. So we got our kill. I'm going to instantly use whatever energy I have to climb up and away. And we're going to get back up to about 7,000, 10,000 feet. I can see the... Uh, yeah. Sorry, right, somebody in the chat just says they're going to kill me. We'll see how that works. So we're going to zoom climb, kind of, not zoom climb, but climb away. And I'm not going to try to zoom climb for those 190s. I'll lose to them, hands down. So I'm going to keep climbing in the opposite direction, try to drag them to my altitude. You know, kind of play the uh, extension long game here. You need to plane ahead of a P-80. You, you can't just fly around and fly with instincts and def defensive uh, maneuvers all the time. You actually need to be kind of an attacking boom zoom type fighter. But instead of boom zooming all the time in the vertical, you want to do it in the horizontal and you'll see what I'm talking about. And basically I'm just going to keep my separation. Even though I'm, not, I'm only doing 280 miles an hour, I want to keep that separation so that when I come back in, I can get some momentum. And so those guys are all diving on those guys. Sorry, I have to use my US and British teammates as bait. But I wasn't gonna stick around, so we're gonna do a little guessing call us a little split S, a little wobbly, the mouse aim. And we're gonna come back in. I already have about 400 miles an hour. We're gonna keep going fast. They're focused on that. This is how you wanna attack in P80. You don't wanna go head on, you don't wanna turn fight. You wanna kinda of sneak up like a vulture from behind and attack things that are already engaged. Because uh, this jet isn't the most fabulous, but it is effective in the right hands. And there's no reason that you can't do well in this plane. So you can see, I see you are. You know what, Floyd uh, said he's gonna kill me, so we're gonna sneak up on him. All right, and he's on fire. That probably won't go out. <laughs> and let's zoom climb away. We're not zoom, sorry, that's a habit of me saying we're gonna zoom climb away, because we're not a prop, but we're gonna zoom away. So I'm trying to say, we're not gonna churn. We're not gonna engage. We're just gonna keep flying this direction and get some separation and reset for another attack. That's all. That's all you can really do in a P-80. Um, it's, a, it's not fast enough to, or it doesn't have enough engine power to sit there and be a real dogfighter. It's never meant for that. It's a straight wing jet. Uh, much better jets quickly came after this one. So 
kind of like, I don't know. I don't even know why it's in the game, really. Uh, yeah, F-80 I can understand, because that's all it serves in Korea. The P-80, ah, eh, whatever. It did exist. It's not anything fake or anything, but, you know, it's just... It wasn't something we had to have in the game right now, but it's here, and I use it, so... Let's see if we can find... Antagonist. I think I recognize him from a video I did a little while ago, actually. Anyway, let's see if we can... I think they got this cleaned up. But you can see how I reset. I'm at 11,000 feet, and then that's when I want to come in for my next attack run. Oh, they're getting slaughtered. And unfortunately for the Germans, th this Berlin map, I've seen it go either way where the Germans just slaughter the P-80s and the Meteors and the Tempest, and... Or they get annihilated like this. Um, I really hope that they change it up, because I'm kind of getting sick of this. Like I said, I wish I had a little bit better... A little bit better matchmaker, a little bit something different, something a little more historical. Let's we'll see if we can dive on this 190 here. I'm coming in pretty hot. 400. But this was something that a lot of people requested me flying, so if this helps in any way, I hope, you know, I'm glad because I'm sick of seeing PADs dying head on or turn fighting. Alright, I am going pretty fast here. This is getting near the top speed of this thing. I'm going to try to lead him a little bit. It's hard with the stealth rounds. Ah, I got some hits, but alright. That's it. Just climb away. I think our other teammate got him. Oh, they, they will get him anyway. We'll just go back up, convert that speed back into altitude, and we're going to roll over, and if he's not dead, we'll get him here. Alright, they got him. So never mind. Kill assist. I'll live with that. So, we got two kills and an assist. You know, that's a pretty decent P80 run. Uh, like I said, just don't go head on unless you need to. You know, there are circumstances where you're trapped or you're pinned or you don't have the airspeed. Head on should be a last resort in this plane. Um, like I said, you just want to kind of do these very, you know, use the map. You have all this space in the map, you have all this altitude. High speed attacks. Don't turn fight. Don't roll unless you know you're you're under attack. But you know it's not a bad jet. It's not the greatest, but I don't think it's uh, as bad as people want to say. And if you haven't tried it since 1.43, it's it, you know it's not that bad. And once you get through the first kind of get the first couple engine upgrades, it's as effective as the F80. I'll say that. You know the F80 is certainly a better plane, but it, it'll get the job done. So. Don't, don't, you know. Fortunately, I think is that people get into this plane using a prop, and they expect, you know, oh, I got a jet, it's magic, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill everything. And they realize, this is, you know, we're going from the best of propeller technology to the worst of jet technology. And, you know, it's better in a lot of regards, but it's, it's not superior in some ways. So there's my max speed. You can push this thing up around this. I, I, you have to do it all the time when you're fighting meteors. You have to f kind of find that line of where the thing will blow apart, but you can push her into the max, you know, where it says IAS max speed. You can push it for a while. Shoot the box. Anyway, I hope this helps in any way. Um, like I said, several people have asked me to fly around this P80. So, it's a good, like I said, it's a good beginning jet. Uh, just, you gotta get a solid foundation on the tactics and find stuff that works for you. You wanna fly as an aggressor, but not as a turn fighting head-on monster. I can't keep saying that enough. Let's see what our final tally is on the points here. So two kills, one assist, times two premium count. 50 something thousand lions and 7200 vehicle research. I still not to cover. So, eh, it works.